Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to show you how to put the mount for your snowplow blade on your ATV. Now this video is for some of my ATV viewers. I had some viewers asking me about how to attach the snowplow mount to the bottom of their ATV. They're having issues. So I'm just going to show you quickly what I've done. And what I did was I just winched up my uh, ATV for a quick video here. To the rafters of my garage. I don't suggest that you do this if you're going to be working on your ATV or attaching the mount to your ATV because this isn't very safe. You can add the mount to the frame of your ATV just so easily by laying on the floor, getting under there and attaching it. It doesn't take that long. All right, here's the ATV mount and your push tube, whatever they call it, on your plow blade clicks onto here, at least on the click and go to plow system, it does that way. So what it is, is you have four U-bolts. Here's one here. Here's another U-bolt here, which seems to be loose. Good thing I checked this. Wow. And you got one here and one here. So you got four U-bolts. So you're gonna be mounting, at least on an ATV and using the click and go to plow blade, and probably a lot of other plow blades, they'll be mounting somewhere back here on the frame. So here's your front diff right here. So be back here. I would say just behind the front wheels. And I think I could show you that. Yeah, just, just like right level with the back of the front wheels. That's about the spot it goes on your ATV frame. And of course I'm using a 2004 Suzuki Iger. All ATVs will be a little bit different. Some will be similar. I don't know, but I'm just showing you what I have and just answering the questions of my viewers. This mount here for the click and go to, it comes with this piece of steel here. And this piece of steel here will be mounted on here to the main mount solid, like permanently. It just stays here. There's one, two, three, four. So then you're gonna put your U-bolts around the frame where it works best. And then you're just gonna run the parts of the U-bolt through here. There's slots here in the mount. And you're just gonna put the bolts on and tighten it up. That's all there is to it. It's dead center on the frame, of course, everything will be center. And then, and like I said, it's just like right at the back of the front wheel here. Now I'm gonna show you at different angles with the camera so you can see really well. So there we go, different angle so that you can see pretty much where it is on the frame. There's your front diff and your axles. So right here on the Suzuki, it's, you see this bar here, part of the frame here. It's right there. That's but the only place I could put the U-bolts because there is bars that come down to the other part of the frame. So that's about the only place I could put it. I'll come back over here and show you some more. Now I'll try and show you the U-bolts as well. There's your U-bolts. You can see how they go around the frame. There's four of them. <laughs> I hope this helps anybody that has any issues putting the mount on their ATV. I can't show you on every ATV because I only have the one, but my son does have a CF Moto C Force, and I was looking underneath, and there's a skid plate in the way. And I couldn't really see the frame well, but it basically would hook up the same way. And also, that's another thing. I took my skid plate off of this Suzuki to put this mount on. I don't really go riding in the woods with it and uh, on trails and rough terrain. I did a little bit this summer, but just for two rides. But anyways, I, uh, I took the skid plate off. And if you had the skid plate on there, it would be really hard to mount this mount on there. Maybe that's an issue some of you are having. So yeah, take that skid plate off for mounting the snowplow blade mount. And in the spring and summer when you're not plowing anymore, you can put your skid plate back on. And like I said, you can do all this from just laying down on the floor. Again, it's not hard to do. And to answer another question, a lot of people ask me, they wanna know if it, ATV is good to use for plowing. I'm telling you, I got a Z-Force uh, side-by-side. Compared to this, I can do more plowing in tight spots with this ATV 
I don't know, I just find it a lot easier to plow snow with the ATV than my side-by-side. -side. Although my side-by-side, -side, the plow blade is 72 inches wide, where this one here is like 54 inches. I don't know, I just seem to find it a lot better machine to do snow plowing with. Just wanted to put that out there. Anyways, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.